When Betsy DeVos was up for confirmation for Secretary of Education, a lot of myths came out about schools and about Betsy DeVos herself. One of the worst myths was that a charter school is not a public school. Totally false. First of all, a charter school, charter really just means a contract. That is, you make a contract uh, with a group of citizens. Uh, the district, typical school districts, could authorize a charter school. It uh, can also be authorized as a separate district. And we have a public charter district in South Carolina, a public charter district. Um, we also have colleges that can authorize charter schools. So as it fits into the grand scheme of education, you know, you got homeschooling, it's private, Christian, uh, SCISA, which are good solid prep schools in South Carolina, online schools. We've also got public schools. Those are magnet schools, traditional schools, online schools, and charter schools. So the reason for having a charter is the flexibility that you get that you don't get with a regular public school. Now a lot of myths that go around about charter schools, and that came out of the DeVos hearings as well. First of all, that they, that they cream, that they take the cream off of the top of school of, of students and bring them to the charter school and then leave the public schools with all the bad students. That's not possible. There are no exams that you have to take to get into a charter school. Charter schools are public schools and they have to accept everyone. The second is, for some reason, lots of folks think that they charge tuition. Well, again, they are public schools. They cannot charge tuition. Another is that they're just Christian schools, that they're religious schools. Can't be done. They are public schools. They don't teach religion. Also, the idea is that they are for profit, that charter schools make money. Can't happen. And then accountability, that somehow they have less accountability than traditional public schools. But when you've got a small board that's a part of their charter, and that charter is usually limited to five to ten years, most ways there's greater accountability for a charter school than there is for a traditional public school. And then finally, the teachers are not certified. Now, up to 25% of the teachers in a charter school can be not your typically certified teachers. However, they come from all walks of life. They can be business leaders who have great experience that they can bring to the classroom, college professors with PhDs, so that is not, uh, not really a valid criticism either. And last of all, the accusation that charter schools are just not any good. Well, actually, there are very, very good charter schools. There are some charter schools that don't perform well, much like any other school, public or private, or even home. All of these schools, you have good ones and bad ones. That's typical with charter schools. So that's our brief lecture on charter schools. We've had to oversimplify a lot, and you can find out more on our website, and we look forward to talking to you again soon.